so many bills. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about technology and architecture. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and let's get on with today's video. Today, we're talking about starting up your own architectural practice and how much does it actually cost in 2020? So this video idea actually came to me thanks to one of my tutors back in the day. They instructed us to create a fake business and to do all the financial reports required to start that business. So I thought it would be a good idea to go back and reflect on that documentation and actually see how close I was back in the day versus to now when I've been in the industry for a little while now. So straight off the bat, without making you guys wait too long, my original estimate for starting a practice was 54,498 Australian dollars. Now, that was considering a four-person partnership agreement and starting a medium-sized company with four architects involved. That was a pretty big stab in the dark. If I was to scale that number back to a sole practice, single occupancy version, it would actually equate to about $33,528. So from the start, back in the day when I did all my research and thought I knew everything about running a business and being in the profession, I originally thought it would cost 33,000 Australian dollars to start a sole trader business in the architecture industry. Now again, I've been in the industry for a while now, I know what I need and what I don't need, so I thought it'd be a good idea to go back, take a look at these numbers, and really give you guys an insight on what it actually costs to start an architectural practice in 2020. So I'll put up some sort of side-by-side -side graph here to really capsulate what I was thinking before and what the reality of it is now. So if you're gonna start a new practice in 2020, chances are you're probably gonna be starting at home. With COVID going on around the world still, the chances are probably a lot higher that you're gonna be starting it from home than ever before. So in reality and in the past, I estimated $50 per week to start a practice out of your home office, which is a very accurate representation in the market right now. Originally, I estimated a $5,500 per annum technology and computer cost. Now, speaking from experience, this is a huge overkill. Realistically, if you don't have a computer and you don't have a desktop set up ready to go, you're probably gonna be spending about $3,500 to get the machine up and running, and you're probably gonna to have to upgrade it every three to five years. So talking just initial startup costs, we're talking three and a half thousand, not five and a half thousand. Being in the architecture profession, you tend to do a lot of printing. However, as technology progresses, we're doing less and less of that. So our original estimate was $200 a year for printing and maintenance. Now speaking in 2020, it's probably still about $200 a year because we try and print less and less every single day and just provide clients with digital documentation. This is not only better for the environment, but also better for the business bank account. Now this is where the naive graduate in me came out to play. I originally budgeted $2,000 for a drone, $700 for modeling material, and then thousands and thousands of dollars for different programs that I don't actually need all of them. So I originally planned to run Revit, Rhino, Autodesk, V-Ray, the whole Adobe suite, and the list goes on. But now in reality, I don't actually need to run all those programs to run a successful firm, nor do you in practice. So for example, we can scratch off the $2,000 drone and the $700 in modeling fees, because in reality, you're not gonna be need to take drone photos to run a successful practice. They are good for marketing material, but they're definitely not required. And $700 in model making material, unless you're a truly avid model maker, it is not a good idea to be going and spending this much money on model making material, especially considering clients aren't gonna be paying you for 40, 50 hours to spend and make a physical model of their project. This is usually done out of the own goodwill of your heart and to run a successful practice, you probably aren't gonna be doing something like this. So we can scratch that off the list completely. When it comes to programs, you're more than likely only gonna be running one program, be it either Archicad or Revit. 
For me personally, I'm well experienced in ARCHICAD, so that would be my platform of choice if I was to go out and do this again in 2020. A big shout out to Michael Cook, who dropped a comment on one of my videos a few days ago outlining how much Graphisoft charged him in 2020 for an ARCHICAD perpetual license. They quoted him $11,746 plus GST and then an additional $1,776 per annum plus GST for ongoing maintenance and upgrade fees. So that's an $11,500 bill that you have to flip up front day one. Now, if Michael's great comment doesn't deserve a like and subscribe on this channel, I don't know what does, but it would truly be appreciated if you hit that like button, help this video with the algorithm, and smash that subscribe button to let me know that you're enjoying these videos and want me to create content just like this. However, based on all the other programs that I spoke about previously, you don't need all of them. So straight away, we can get rid of everything that was on the list. The only thing that really and truly does have to remain is the Adobe Suite. You're gonna be using Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and of course, Acrobat Reader Pro all the time. So this is definitely a worthwhile investment. If for example, you did wanna to go to Revit instead of ARCHICAD, your upfront costs are a lot cheaper. It's only 3,410 Australian dollars per year to get started with Revit. So straight away, you're saving yourself seven, $8,000 from the get-go. But over a five, six year period, ARCHICAD is definitely gonna be the cheaper licensing option. So I guess that's more or less a budgeting and a financial question you need to ask yourself when starting a new practice. Do you have the ability to play the long game and wait this out five years to save yourself that money? Or do you really only have one or two years to test this idea to see if it's worthwhile? If that is the case and it is successful, which I truly do hope it is for you, then Revit might actually be one of your biggest and most expensive costs financially every single year per staff member. Moving on to a practice management side of things, originally I estimated $1,000 for a platform called CoinCraft. Now, CoinCraft is still going in 2020, but I've never actually ever used it. Instead, I use a platform called Pro Workflow and it costs about 20 Australian dollars per month. So instead of my original estimate of $1,000, it only costs $240 for a systems management system in 2020. I originally estimated that I'd be using the NatSpec Australian standards for $340 per annum. But in reality, you end up writing your own specifications in practice, so this charge is completely null and void. Some fees that are actually unavoidable that you have to pay every single year recurring is a $35 ABN registration number renewal, a $38 business name renewal, an architect's fee, which if you are a registered architect, want to be part of a registered institution, you don't have to be, it is good to be, yeah, long story short, it's good to be, um, that's about $1,080 every year, and then you have your ongoing fees of websites and marketing. So originally I estimated $150 a year for websites, in reality that's probably about double at about $300 if you're doing it yourself. And then on top of that, I put 5,200 for marketing, which still in this day and age is probably an appropriate amount of a marketing budget to be running a $100 weekly campaign if you know what you're doing on Facebook advertising, Instagram ads, and things like that. So there are two insurances that you're gonna to need to start a professional architectural practice in 2020, be it an architect's firm or a drafting agency. Both of these require the same indemnity insurances. So you're gonna need professional indemnity insurance and public indemnity insurance. Public indemnity insurance was originally estimated at about $1,000, which is still accurate today in 2020. Whilst professional indemnity insurance for a $1 million cap was estimated at $1,800. This is a pretty accurate representation considering that now in 2020, it is only about $2,100. So not a huge jump between my original estimate and what it costs now. However, the difference being is realistically a $1 million cap is quite low in the architectural industry. You probably wanna be going for about 2 million as a minimum, which bumps you up to about 2,900 Australian dollars per year as a starting point with no claims, no pre-existing conditions, etc. Again, if you're doing bigger practices, bigger projects, commercial projects, that 2 million might turn into 10, might turn into 20. 
So that category is almost never ending. Finally, for some reason, the naive and young David decided to put in $50 per client meeting, $80 for design packages, and $380 annually for accounting fees. Now, I'm not entirely sure why I'd be spending $50 per client meeting considering that most client meetings are done in your office face-to-face -face talking about their project. Design packages, I'm not even sure what originally I was planning with an $80 design package. And apparently I was only planning on having five client meetings a year, which realistically it's about 500. So that is definitely underestimate if that was an actual cost. So thankfully $50 per client meeting is not a thing. Accounting fees on the other hand is something you can or you don't have to pay, it's up to you. So for me, I can manage everything through Excel at this point in time, but having something like a MyOrb or a QuickBooks or a Xero is definitely a good program platform that is worth investing the money in. So I've left that on the list at $380 per year. So overall, let's go back to what I originally thought my total cost for a sole practice sole trader would be. That was $33,528. In reality, to start an architectural firm in 2020 with Archicad as your primary software is gonna cost you $28,993. If on the other hand, you wanna run Revit first of all, instead of Archicad, that's gonna drop all the way down to 20,657 Australian dollars. So overall, if I was running an Archicad platform, I wasn't too far off the mark. I was about $5,000 overestimating how much it would cost to run an architectural practice. If I was running a Revit, I was so far over. I almost doubled it. So there you have it, guys. If you were to start a brand new architectural practice in Australia, running the bare bones of it, it will cost you anywhere from 20 to 30,000 Australian dollars. I know many people are always ambitious and curious to start their own business, but keep in mind that there are a lot of costs that come with it. So take this decision very seriously, plan it out, and if you do make the leap, I wish you all the best. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button down below to help this video with the algorithm. And if you wanna see more of my content, smash that subscribe button down there. And as always, I'll see you next Monday.